a very good morning to all today we are going to talk about uh, new combinational circuits which is called encoder so what is encoder let us know an encoder is an electronic device used to convert an uh, analog signal to a digital signal such as bcd code an encoder has and 2 to the power n inputs uh, there is a little bit difference uh, between these all uh, combinational circuits in terms of inputs and outputs so uh, please don't get confused okay so sometimes you will feel that this is the inputs of the uh, multiplexer or demultiplexer or uh, then computer etc so uh, you have uh, read it in some years but uh, there is a difference an encoder has two to the power inputs and 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 outputs an encoder outputs the binary value of the selected input so what it does an encoder outputs the binary value of the selected input so it selects uh, uh, one input out of two to the power n inputs an encoder performs the inverse operation of a decoder an encoder perform this is very this is a very important an encoder performs the inverse operation of a decoder uh, now you know better you can uh, understand better by this example this is a 4 is to 4 is to 2 encoder okay So uh, this is the, there are four inputs, right? These are the inputs. You can see you uh, just uh, this is just like the marks. No, uh, inputs inputs may be uh, just like the marks, but uh, marks have only one outputs. But it has uh, it can have uh, more than one outputs. Okay, so this is the basic difference. Z uh, then uh, max uh, the function of uh, or the application of the max may be different then these are the output y z so uh, if we are having the four inputs encoder then it has <coughs> two outputs and how uh, outputs will be decided so these these are the uh, this that is two to the power two four combination of inputs 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 then 0 1 0 and then 1 0 0 and this is output equivalent to the input a b c d 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 <coughs> okay then uh, how uh, you will find the uh, output both of the output y and z okay so for the y we will just check where where is the one that is high this is uh, two values for y for which y is equal to one or high so just write down the expression where is this one b okay this is b and for this one a so this is a plus b okay similarly output of z can be find out by just uh, observing the one one is high here and other one is high here so just check where is the uh, which input is the high c so this is c and this is a so this is the simple output z okay now uh, i'm telling to you that all combinational circuits have the same design process all combinational circuits have six step uh, like problem definition then uh, then identifying the inputs and outputs then giving the variables uh, then giving the uh, nomenclature or the naming of those uh, variables then fourth truth table which is this one and then fifth is the uh, finding the boolean expression which we are having this one and uh, last is the 
लॉजिक सर्किट आएगा सो दिस इज द सर्किट डायग्राम विच वी कैन ड्रॉ बाय द बाय सिंप्लीफाइंग द बुलर एक्सप्रेशन ओके सो दिस इज द टू इज टू सो दिस इज ए एंड बी सो दिस इज ए एंड दिस इज बी सो वन आउटपुट इज दस वन एंड अदर आउटपुट इज दिस वन सो दिस इज इज जस्ट वन सो इट वॉज द फोर इज टू टू एंड कोडर फाइन ऑक्टल टू बाइनरी एन कोडर ओके दिस इज ऑक्टल टू बाइनरी एन कोडर ऑक्टल टू बाइनरी एन कोडर हैज देखिए एक्चुअली एंड द फंक्शन ऑफ एन कोडर इज टू एन कोड द इनपुट्स आउट ऑफ मैनी इनपुट्स ओके सो विच इनपुट्स विल बी द पार्ट ऑफ आउटपुट इट इज इट इज डन बाय द एन कोडर नाउ लेट सी द अदर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ of encoder which is octal to binary encoder octal to binary encoder has n8 inputs because this is octal y2 y7 and three outputs a0 a1 and a2 okay octal binary encoder has uh, is nothing but 8 is to 2 encoder so it is nothing but 8 is to 3 encoder the block diagram of octal to binary encoder is shown in this one okay so this is the 8 8 is to 3 and which are which is having 8 inputs 0 to 7 okay and how many inputs so just you can find out from the inputs here that is 8 inputs so uh, if we we are having the binary what will be the binary value of this one to the power 3 so it will become adds so this 3 will be the binary outputs okay now we know the pro we know the uh, problem definition that we have to design octal to binary uh, encoder then uh, uh, identifying the inputs and outputs seven uh, eight inputs three outputs then giving the naming naming we have we have done it also Y zero to Y seven and A zero to A two. Then uh, finding the truth table. So this is the truth table of eight is to eight is to three encoder. Okay. So uh, starting from here, this is these are the inputs. Okay. Zero 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 one. So uh, we are having in such a way Y zero. Y one, Y two, Y three, Y four, Y five, Y six, and Y seven. Okay, and these are the equivalent out output out of uh, output equivalent to that inputs. Okay, so these are the inputs. So these are the outputs, all outputs, as per the inputs. Fine. Now uh, let's move on. The fourth is uh, just uh, simplify the Boolean expression or derive the Boolean expression from truth table. So we will just uh, do the uh, do as we did in the previous example. And what is that? This is the uh, expression that is for a zero for a zero we will find out for a zero we will find out where is the Uh, where we are having the one in a zero, so this is one, this is one, and this is one, and this is in the column of a zero, and just uh, find the equivalent input of that one. Which one is high? Sorry, this is high. So y one, then. For uh, y1, just uh, we can see this is y1. Okay, then uh, for other one, that is high. This is high. So just check. This is the one. This is y5. Okay. So this is y5. Okay. Then let's find out uh, other one. Uh, one more. Just this is also one. Okay. So just uh, check. This is one. And this is y three, okay. And then uh, last is 
this is one here and this is y7 this is y7 okay this is y7 so uh, similarly we we will uh, just find the all uh, outputs for a1 and a2 so actually all outputs are the combination of different inputs so suppose uh, for a1 we will just go for this one this one and this one and this one okay so we will go here this one this way fine so you can find out all uh, outputs equivalent to that inputs then last uh, but not least we are having the equivalent circuit diagram uh, with the help of this boolean expression and this is easier uh, easier one like uh, a uh, just you can see y1 y3 y5 y7 y1 y1 this this is this is y1 okay this is uh, y3 second is y3 so this is y3 this is y3 then this is y5 and then y7 so similarly you can draw the circuit diagram okay so uh, when you will implement uh, practically this uh, circuit then you will find the 8 is to 2, 8 is to 3 uh, or octal to binary encoder fine now uh, uh, is encoder is okay no it has certain drawbacks one of the main disadvantage of the standard digital encoder is that it can generate the wrong output codes when there is more than one input present at the logic one so what is the different uh, what is the drawback of encoder the drawback of encoder is that if in place of one high like uh, just you can see here you can you can see here that, that is all uh, all inputs are high at a time see uh, this is one and on rest are zero this is one rest are zero then this is one and rest is zero and this is one rest are zero inputs so suppose uh, if uh, and this is high or this is high right so uh, in place of uh, single uh, input high we are having two or three high inputs then what will happen okay so this is the drawback actually and just we will try to understand with the help of uh, this example okay for example if we make uh, inputs y1 and y2 high at a logic one both at the same time so what it's saying that is y1 and y2 high that is one both at the same time the resulting output is neither at zero one because uh, one uh, is equivalent to zero one and y2 is equal to one zero so the, it will not be equivalent to both of the outputs but will be at 1 1 which is an output binary number that is different to the actual input present so neither it will be 0 1 or 1 0 but it will be 1 1 which is equivalent to the, to the 3 okay so to overcome these difficulties we should assign priority to each input of the encoder so uh, to avoid why this happens because they confuse uh, which one uh, which, which one we should consider okay so to overcome these difficulties we should assign priority to each input of encoder so to avoid such problems or issues uh, priority should be assigned to the encoder then the output of the encoder will be binary co uh, code corresponding to the active high input which has the high, high priority so uh, when we will put the priority uh, we will give the priority priority to the input then as per the inputs uh, as per the higher priority it will give the output such encoder is called priority encoder so when we give the priority priority to the encoder then such encoders are called priority encoder and what is priority encoder this is very important for the point for the exam point of view so please don't skip it priority encoder to overcome these difficulties we should assign priority to each input of the encoder so out of uh, for example in the previous example this is 0 uh, this is uh, uh, 1 y1 and y2 there were two inputs which were high okay this one high so it should be considered first or it should be considered first okay we should give the uh, we should give the priorities 
the priority encoder is one type of combinational circuit similar to a binary encoder so priority encoder is just similar to the um, combinational circuit or the simple binary encoder which we have gone through except that it generates an output code based on the highest priorities the only difference between the simple uh, binary encoder and priority encoder is that it ha it follows certain uh, priority such encoder is called as priority encoder so all uh, definition related to the priority encoder is clear and it must be uh, clear to you also now let's understand this priority encoder with the help of uh, example okay so um, i think uh, you have uh, you have uh, got it what is priority encoder the encoder which has uh, priority over other inputs so uh, this is the 4 is to 2 priority encoder okay so this is uh, just you can see here this is the same uh, encoder uh, same simple encoder there is nothing but uh, some uh, circuitry inside this one change which gives the priority to the inputs particular inputs here the uh, a 4 is to 2 priority encoder has four inputs okay so the, these are four inputs so what we are doing actually we are now problem definition definition that is we are designing 4 is to 2 priority encoder the second is to identify the inputs and output so these are the inputs four inputs and two outputs and then giving the name to all inputs and output so these are the uh, y0 to y3 y0 y1 y2 y3 and these are the outputs okay now uh, here the input uh, the, uh, just check this this uh, y3 and just uh, I should change the color to highlight uh, in a better way here the uh, input y3 that is uh, this input okay so this input has the higher priority okay has the highest priority where is the input y not has the lowest priority okay so uh, is it means that is first y3 then y2 uh, then y3 y sorry y1 and then last may this is y0 okay so guys uh, uh, is uh, condi some condition is applied here in this one y3 has the highest priority that is uh, whatever uh, one has uh, other uh, inputs y2 y1 or y0 but uh, the inputs of y3 will be considered first then after that one uh, y2 and then y1 and y0 has the lowest priority as we have given the condition okay so just we can give the condition in this case even if more than one input is one at the same time the output will be the binary code corresponding to the input which is having higher priority so if in any case if y1 or y2 or y0 are having the one similar to y3 so uh, which one will be considered first y3 will be considered first because it has the highest priority so uh, what is the uh, what is the solution or what is the truth table or what i want to say uh, let's uh, get by this uh, uh, this truth table so this is the truth table of 4 is to 2 priority encoder here in this one you can uh, just uh, see you can see uh, there are four inputs these are the four inputs y0 y1 y2 y3 okay and two outputs now what it is saying when the condition when uh, the condi when the all inputs are zero the first is uh, this one this all inputs are zero y0 y1 or y2 or y3 all are zero then we don't care about the outputs okay so these are the don't care we don't care about the output when the condition is zero zero okay so uh, this is the uh, not required or don't care condition uh, rest uh, when the uh, when the inputs y3 y2 y1 and this y0 is this is the condition then we are having zero zero okay so this is the zero zero okay 
because uh, in this one uh, um, y, y3 has the highest priority and y0 has the least priority because all inputs uh, of uh, this one like y3 y2 y1 all are zero except y0 so it will be output will be considered as zero fine now uh, if the value of y3 is, is equal to zero y2 is equal to zero uh, zero and y1 is equal to 1 so whatever is the value of uh, y0 whether this is 0 or this is 1 okay we don't care so what is the value of this one we don't care whether this is 0 or 1 but the priority will be given to the y1 then output will be 0 1 okay if the value of y3 is equal to 0 and y2 y2 that is uh, this one high then whatever the value of y1 we don't care whether this is 0 or 1 we don't care okay similarly the uh, whatever the value of y0 or uh, that is y, y0 that is 0 or 1 we don't care that is the priority will be given to the y2 okay because uh, it is just immediate uh, next to the y3 okay and uh, uh, last that is when y3 has the high then whatever is the value of y2 y1 or y0 it does not matter okay the priority will be uh, given to the y3 okay so sim similarly uh, just we can see that uh, with respect to the priority which has y3 has the highest one and y0 uh, lowest one we are having the two table so this is easy one and i think uh, uh, i think you have uh, get it very well so when y3 is equal to 0 then output will be like this okay got it and this one uh, the only thing aapne ye dekhna hai ki aapka agar koi y3 this is y3 higher priority then uske baad aapka uh, y2 hai uske baad aapka y1 and then last and least is y0 y0 has the lowest priority so if the value of y3 is equal to 1 so first it will be considered if the value of y3 is 0 and the next value of y2 is high then it will be considered and if both of this value is 0 and y1 is 1 then whatever the value of y0 it will be considered okay now uh, fourth step we have completed that 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 is truth table now finding the boolean expression so for this one we will use the k map because this is the four variable okay and uh, there is a little bit uh, uh, little bit tricks in this one so uh, uh, we are having two outputs a naught a naught and a1 so uh, just uh, first of all uh, we will go for the i naught came up for the i naught so what is uh, uh, the variables y0 y1 y2 and y3 okay and uh, here uh, we are not uh, we are not going to uh, fill uh, once uh, uh, simply by just because uh, we don't know what is the min terms or max term so we will uh, use a special trick for that one to uh, to uh, to adopt that one we are uh, i'm going to naming the cell so this is uh, uh, this is uh, just you this is L msb and this is lsb so as per this one zero zero okay and this is zero zero one okay because this is y2 y3 zero zero and y1 y0 is equal to zero one then uh, similarly and then uh, just uh, this is the better color then uh, similarly uh, 0 0 and then 0 1 1 okay then 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 just uh, i'm doing nothing i'm using the k map by <coughs> by just putting the uh, uh, variable into it uh, so this is uh, 0 1 this is 0 0 this is 0 1 and 0 0 this is 0 1 0 uh, 0 1 this is uh, 0 1 1 this is uh, 0 1 0 so 
all uh, all uh, all cells can be naming by it now uh, how we are going to uh, fill it uh, so this is a special thing uh, first of all a naught okay so a for we are designing for a naught so uh, whatever the input if the all inputs are zero if all inputs are zeros so uh, condition is don't care that is we don't care that is if all the inputs are zero then what is the output that is don't care so i am putting here don't care now the uh, now the second thing is uh, one so just check where is the one this is the one for a naught okay uh, <coughs> so what is uh, this one zero zero one just choose the three uh, inputs where which are having zero one to so zero zero one okay just leave this don't care don't condition uh, don't care condition we use when we uh, we can uh, have the pairing okay so zero zero one this is zero zero one see uh, zero zero one zero zero one so this is zero zero one where is zero zero one zero zero one where is uh, this is yes just check this is zero zero one and this is zero zero one okay so put here one one fine just uh, because I have naming all uh, cells with these uh, these uh, mean terms so just check uh, this is the uh, this is a naught this is a naught and this is the value this is the value for zero zero one this is the value for zero zero one so zero zero one is one zero zero is one then okay then uh, uh, just similarly check the value of one okay okay so uh, what uh, what you will observe here that is one only where is one just check uh, in which uh, cell we are having one okay so in that case what will happen uh, what will happen we will just observe the uh, observe the we will observe the one okay so one uh, c in the cell so this is uh, check one so it is jahan bhi aapka first bit one hai then one then this is one this is one this is one this is one so uh, put all replace those all uh, cell by one okay so this will be high where the first bit is one in this also this is one so uh, just uh, put the value put the one over there okay so in this way uh, you will have a k map for a naught okay uh, just we can check other one no only two values are high for a naught now uh, what is the next thing next thing is uh, just pairing so you can observe that is this is the this is what is this octet so this is a pair octet okay so just uh, reduce or minimize it uh, how many uh, octet uh, remove how many variables of course three variables so uh, you will find out why three because it is not changing this is changing and all all this uh, rows are changing but this is the same this is y3 so y3 is here this is simplification of okay map i have already uh, mentioned that uh, k map can be used anywhere in digital electronics so it should be uh, it should be known to you familiar and should be practiced by you okay just we are having the application because uh, here we are not having k map we are having encoder and we are applying k map for the simplification of boolean expression the other pair just check where is the other pair 
just I will try to uh, find out other pair of one that is check this one and this one this is other pair of ones that is octet okay so this is the octet when you uh, you will remove that is which one is varying which when uh, which variable is varying and which is constant so uh, we will just find the i1 y2 bar this one okay this is simple right just check this one octet can uh, remove two variables so this is a uh, one this is one and this is zero just uh, see here uh, this is uh, y3 is changing zero to one but uh, y2 is same and this is y not bar y2 bar similarly you can just observe that is uh, one is changing to zero but one one is zero which is equivalent to the one so this is uh, for the i naught now we need to find out uh, a one with the help of k map so i will do the same uh, for the i one first uh, of all i will uh, make four variables k map and similarly i will mark the I will mark all cell that is zero zero. This is uh, we are having with the help of LSB and MSB. Okay, zero 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 one and then all. Then I will just check the uh, one four i i one. So uh, where is the? This is and one this is. Okay, so these are the these are the high for a one and uh, first check uh, first check zero one. Okay. This is this is zero one. Rest is cross. That is don't care. So uh, whatever number, whatever cell has zero one, uh, whatever uh, cell are having zero one, we will just mark here. That is zero one. They get zero one. All uh, will be one. Then uh, zero one. Then uh, zero one. So all four are having zero one. Okay, then uh, I will check for the other uh, value of one that is here. This these are this is the one. Okay, and for this one y three is equal to one. So the cell which are having one uh, that is this is this is first bit. This is uh, first bit is one. Then all will be high. This 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 will be high. Okay. Uh, and now next step is uh, pairing of the ones. So just you can uh, see uh, how many pairing of, of ones we can have. Uh, so first, uh, I will uh, check octet. This is one octet. Okay, and uh, this octet uh, will remove two variables. So first of all, uh, just check which one is uh, which variable. Uh, Will be there. That is y3. So y1 is changing, and then y1, y3. So this is y3. Now uh, check. Uh, let me check for the other pairing of ones. So uh, just you can see if we combine these. Uh, so we will can we can have one more octet. So we are having one more octet. Okay. Then uh, we can remove three variables. So this this uh, just we can check. There is no need because all are uh, changing. There is a one bit difference uh, because we are using gray code. So this is y two because in this one what is changing? This is y three changing, but y uh, one one is same. Okay, so this is y two. Okay, guys. So it was a simple uh, but uh, but a little bit tricky. And uh, what is the trick? I have explained. This is important. This is uh, that's why this is important for the exam because it has certain tricks to solve now we are having the value of uh, outputs a naught and n1 and uh, then uh, and then lastly we will uh, have we will design the uh, circuit diagram so this is the circuit diagram for the priority encoder so uh, this uh, these are the uh, these are uh, the uh, oring and these are uh, ending as per the uh, this one that is uh, what is the value of uh, what is the value of a one y two y two y two and y three y two so it will be y two and y three okay 
एंड दिस इज आई नॉट कितना होगा आपका देखिए कितना है वाई थ्री एंड वाई थ्री प्लस वाई वन एंड वाई टू बार ओके सो दिस इज फोर द वाई वन सो दिस इज वाई जीरो बिकॉज देयर इज नो दिस इज नॉट कनेक्ट टू एनी आउटपुट सो दिस विल बी एस इट ओके सो गाइट इज ऑल इट वॉज ऑल अबाउट द प्राइट इन कोड एंड आई होप इट इज इट इज ईजी एंड यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड इन बेटर वे ओके सो इफ यू इफ यू गॉट इट दैट्स वेरी फाइन इफ यू आर गेटिंग प्लीज लेट मी नो एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गिव एनी सजेशन रिगार्डिंग माई लेक्चर्स दो आई एम मेकिंग लॉट लॉट ऑफ एफर्ट्स uh fir bhi if you want to give any suggestion then most welcome but uh, and the most well uh, most important is just take care uh, yourself because uh, more than anything more than anything your uh, your health is very important okay